Collecting Blu-rays is an expensive hobby. It's expensive to have all of these movies. It's expensive on upkeep, on players, on all of that. So here are five of the most expensive Blu-rays slash 4Ks that I own in my collection. Some of these aren't too outrageous. Some of them are outrageous, on the other hand. Some things that I will not be talking about, however, are multi-movie box sets like you can see up here, this Halloween box set. Uh, they put out the 4Ks of that, and that box set is still quite expensive. The smaller one is still quite expensive as well. So just get the 4Ks if you really need to. But without further ado, let's get to the five movies I'm talking about here. So to kick off the list, uh, these are not my most expensive ones. These are just five of the ones that I found in my collection. It's a bit harder to get some of the prices on these. And uh, kicking it off, we have Time Bomb from Scream Factory. And I have not seen this movie. I have it in my collection. I got it from Scream Factory, uh, I think in one of their sales. And this one is about $50.00. Uh, at least that's what my movie app says, but it's about $50, and uh, this is without the slipcover, and uh, I, I'd never seen this movie. I bought it because Michael Bean is in it, and Michael Bean is one of my favorite actors ever. He's in Terminator, he's in Aliens, great actor, amazing guy. He's in plenty of my favorite movies, so I figured, hey, hell, uh, Eddie Kay was trained to kill, ordered to destroy, programmed to forget, now the most dangerous a man alive is about to explode. That sounded badass from the cover. This was definitely a blind buy for me. And so I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it. It was not $50. I did not get this on the secondary market. This was directly from Screen Factory when it was in print. Now it is out of print and you have to get it. Um, so I don't know if, you've, if you're out there and you've seen Time Bomb, let me know how it is in the comments. And I, I wanna watch this, it looks great, but I just haven't found the time yet. So. Uh, we've got Time Bomb. Now we've got one that, uh, might be breaking the box set rule a little bit, but we've got Vinegar Syndrome's version of Roadhouse. Now this is the, uh, deluxe version that you can get, uh, that you could have got with the first run of the, of the release. You can just get the standard edition, which does just come with the normal, uh, Blu-ray or 4K. I don't know if it comes with this slipcover or anything, but you can get just the standard release, which is, comes with all the same, phys uh, stuff on the disc just doesn't come with all the physical goodies of the box here, but this is one of my favorite releases in my collection. I absolutely love this movie. I glow every time I talk about it with my friends and family. Roadhouse just is one of the most fun movies ever made. I have not seen the remake from Amazon Studios yet. This release, um, I, I was thinking that maybe that might be too much. It might be, you know, to remake this movie, this movie is like perfect. It is just <laughs> absolutely perfect. Excuse me. Absolutely perfect, but just a great movie all around. Super fun. Just, you know, the description right there. That's what you need to know about Roadhouse. Dalton's the best bouncer in the business. His nights are filled with fast action, hot music, and beautiful women. It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. Patrick Swayze is magical. He is a, was a magical human being, is magical in this movie. And it just captures that era so perfectly with this release, with everything. It is just stunning. It is beautifully crafted from Vinegar Syndrome. If you haven't bought anything from them in the past, they do do these like ultra deluxe versions for their 4Ks. They have a couple of them now. Do I have any other ones here? Uh, I think they did it for, yeah, they did it for Six String Samurai, which I still have to watch. And then they did it for a couple of their other movies, but. Roadhouse was the first one that I got, and boy, am I glad I got this because it sells for over $100 now. And, you know, you didn't pay that much for it when it came out, but that's what it is with limited numbered editions. This one I don't think is actually numbered, but that's what it comes with, you know, when you run into stuff like this with collecting physical media. So there's that. This next one is a bit stupid because this Blu-ray is not very good, but... This movie is not available on Blu-ray outside of this terrible, terrible cover of Near Dark. So whenever somebody decides, hey, you know, maybe we'll make a million dollars plus um, redoing Near Dark's Blu-ray, this freaking edition sucks. It's nice to have because I have the movie. I can watch it whenever I want. But good God, the transfer here is not very good. The cover is terrible. Uh, it does come with some extras, but... You know, for a movie like this that so many people love, that so many people would want to see and see the making of and how it came to be, and Catherine Bigelow is such an auteur with all of her movies, 
and just this movie in general being sort of adjacent to Aliens and that whole story about how they got the cast for this one and some of the budget for it. You, you'd want to see people going into that and this movie deserves better because it's just so great. It is that western vampire noir beautiful scenes i remember the first time i watched this movie it was on youtube and it was in a terrible youtube video where if you can see like right here on the screen it was like that much of it was the video and then there was other stuff down here and it was to fight the copyright sort of thing that youtube was going on oh also it was mirrored so when i saw this again when i got this blu-ray i was kind of dumbfounded but this blu-ray it's it's so subpar and it's so maddening that they could somebody out there Get the rights to this movie, Arrow Video, Scream Factory, Vinegar Syndrome, Severin, whoever. I don't care who does it. I just want a better version of Near Dark on Blu-ray or 4K. Is that is that too much to ask for? It's one of my, you know, dream releases on physical media. We got True Lies. We got um, Aliens. We got The Abyss. Say what you will about those. They're on physical media again. So that's a great thing. We need more with Near Dark. Let's get Near Dark as well out there because this release is... You could tell it was released around when Twilight came out because of Edward Cullen up here that doesn't appear like that in the movie at all. So that's that for Near Dark. The next one that we have is, uh, we'll save that one for last. So we've got another Scream Factory title. This one is out of print as well. This is Manhunter. This one is really stupid because this movie is great. It is fantastic. You can see that is my favorite uh, portrayal of Hannibal Lecter on film right there, Brian Cox. He is magnificent. This movie is magnificent. It is Michael Mann at his best. Michael Mann is one of my favorite filmmakers, favorite directors. Heat is fantastic. Miami Vice is my favorite TV show of all time. This movie changed my life for the better when I saw it. I have it on VHS. I have the Blu-ray. This is one of the first Blu-rays I got when I started collecting. I was like, got to get everything Scream Factory that I want. Got all the John Carpenter movies. Got this movie. And this release is stunning. It is amazing. It is a love letter to all things Michael Mann. And it's out of print, which means a lot of people that want to get this cannot get it. It is over, I think it's about $80 right now. If you want the movie, I'd say that's worth it. But God knows you're going to hit click. You're going to click buy. It's going to get to your house. And then Screen Factory is going to say, hey, guess what? We got the rights back to Mindhunter. We're putting out a 4K and a steelbook even. So there's all that. But Manhunter is just an amazing, amazing movie. It is one of my exp most expensive Blu-rays, but uh, I'm not the type of collector out here that's, you know, mad when something gets reprinted. Sure, with the Army of Darkness thing that I that I paid $80 for and then it got reprinted, that was just funny, now, how fast it was. If they reprinted this, I would not be mad because more people need to watch Manhunter. More people need to see this movie. If you need to, go get the DVD. The DVD is dirt cheap. You can get the DVD, that's fine. I don't care. Collect what you want, but... This movie deserves to be seen in the best picture quality possible because it's such a beautifully shot film. Last, we had the biggest surprise for me. I had to look this one up, and that is Breakdown, which came out very recently from Paramount Presents as part of their wonderful, amazing Paramount Presents line. It comes with nice slipcover packaging that has the poster and everything. Some of their releases I don't care for, but that's just because I don't care about the movies. Breakdown, however, is an awesome movie. It is Kurt Russell. It is just amazing. And it's kind of strange that this is out of print already and that it is so expensive. It is, uh, well, I'm just going to give it away here. If you want the digital code for Breakdown, there you go. You can pause and take it, but that's that. But yeah, Breakdown, uh, just an excellent, excellent sort of road action thriller. The tagline, It Could Happen to You magnificent magnificent movie that's been uh taken i'm sorry but uh breakdown great great movie great release from uh paramount it's astounding how they just don't want to reprint this like just reprint it it doesn't matter put it out without the slip cover i don't care because you want to know why i didn't know that this was like 120 dollars. it is ridiculous that this movie is 120 dollars for a standard release 
a standard release that does come with some nice special features. It comes with a filmmaker focus featurette. It comes with some commentaries. Kurt Russell on a commentary is worth the price of admission alone. But this movie, awesome, fantastic movie, not worth $120. Do not pay that much for this. Go buy the DVD if you want to watch Breakdown or find it on streaming. But this release is like $150. So outside of some of the box sets that I have and some of the stuff with slipcovers and all that, because the slipcovers add to it. I have a slipcover for a Vinegar Syndrome movie, uh, The Invisible Maniac. That's like $100 for the slipcover because it was part of their April Fool's Day joke that pissed off a bunch of Vinegar Syndrome slipcover collectors. Do people like co like collecting movies anymore? Or is it just slipcovers to me? I don't know. But I don't usually go for the slipcover. If, I, if it's not there, it's not there. But Breakdown, you can get this one. Look for it. See if you can find it for less than $120. Or just get the DVD. But outside of that... Those are five of some of the most expensive movies I have in my collection. What are some of your most expensive movies in your collection? Let me know in the comments down below. And uh, if you like this video and you want to see some collecting tips, maybe to save you some money so you can pay for some of these expensive releases, check out this video right here.